Nakasha is a picture perfect and serene town in Kenyan's Rift Valley. It lies 92.8 km northwest of Nairobi and has a population of over 198,000 inhabitants. The town is at an altitude of 1,884 meters above the sea level, making it a perfect destination for nature enthusiasts. Naivasha is one of the top tourist destinations in Kenya, filled with diverse wildlife and cultural heritage. It is also very popular for holding safari rallies. It has outstanding restaurants and a wide range of accommodation that caters for all budgets. In today's video, we will be sharing the top 10 things to do in Naivasha, Mount Longonot. Mount Longonot is a stratovolcano, which is a volcano built up of alternate layers of lava and ash. And it is located southeast of Lake Naivasha in the Great Rift Valley. Its name is derived from a Maasai word, or Long Knot, meaning Mountain of Many Spurs. Explore this stunning mountain. The slopes alone are home to a couple of wild animals like the Thompson gazelle, zebra, giraffe, and many more. Hike to the top of this dominant volcano for a breathtaking view of the Rift Valley. This place is perfect for bird watching. Who knows what else you may spot? Karuru Falls. Karuru Falls is located in Abadere National Park. A short distance from Naivasha, Karuru Falls is a magnificent waterfall cascading over several levels. Take a tour guide and enjoy the beauty of this natural wonder. Lake Olayden. Olayden means salt in the local Ma language. It is smaller compared to Lake Naivasha. Lake Olayden is popularly referred to as Flamingo Paradise. It draws smaller but impressive flamingos. Both safaris and camping sites are also available. You can also enjoy fishing. The Crater Lake The Crater Lake is a green soda lake at the bottom of an extinct volcano on the western side of Lake Naivasha. It has spectacular green water. It is an excellent place to explore on foot as it has nature trails. The sanctuary is home to a variety of animals including buffaloes, hyenas, hyenas, giraffe and zebra. Leopards have been spotted but they are extremely elusive. This is also a guided nature walk for those staying at the sanctuary camp. Lake Elementaita Lake Elementaita is a soda lake or alkaline lake, which is a lake on the strongly alkaline side of neutrality. This beautiful lake is in the Great Rift Valley, located in between Lake Naivasha and Nakuru. And the lake is home to over 400 species of birds, including the famous flamingos. You can camp out under the sky in the busy plain as you experience the weather and the surrounding. You can even spot zebra if you're lucky. Or take a hot air balloon ride and enjoy the breathtaking view of Lake Elementaita. It's always advisable to visit during the dry season when the roads are dry and easy to navigate. Kariandusi Prehistoric Site Kariandusi Museum is a must visit when it comes to creating your bucket list of things to do in Naivasha. It is located near Gilgil. It is an excellent spot for evolution enthusiasts as it portrays a vast array of the stone tools used by early ancestors. Apart from the history, Kariandusi offers a beautiful view of the Great Rift Valley and Lake Elementaita. The place also hosts a historical church, Goodwill, which was constructed in the 1940s. Kariandusi also offers various attractions such as camping sites, nature trails and caves. Come and indulge in history, I'm sure you won't get enough. Crescent Island Crescent Island Game Sanctuary is one of the serenic and breathtaking wildlife sanctuary situated along Lake Naivasha. 
The island is a peninsula and can only be accessed by a boat along Lake Naivasha. Come and experience a walking safari where you can come face to face with various animals like zebra, herds of antelope, wild beasts, giraffe and variety of birds. Alternatively, you can head to Osarian Wildlife Sanctuary. Osarian Wildlife is a private game sanctuary that is about 18 km from Naivasha. The sanctuary is home to a variety of animals, including lions, leopards, and zebra. Olkaria Geothermal Spa Olkaria Geothermal Spa is a hot spring located at the center of Hell's Gate. Olkaria has long been run by Kenya Electric Company that has established about four power plant within Olkaria. Today, it is a top tourist attraction. A visit to the Olkaria Geothermal Spa is sure to be a time mixed with a lot of emotion that cumulates to a wonderful experience as it offers recreational and therapeutic bathing with its natural water ranging from 30 to 40 degrees Celsius. It is the first of its own kind in Africa. Come here and have an unforgettable experience. Lake Naivasha Lake Naivasha is a freshwater lake in Kenya. It drives its name from a Maasai word, Naiposha, meaning rough water, because of the sudden storm that occasionally arises from the lake. Lake Naivasha is one of the best places to tour in Naivasha. The lake has a dense population of hippos and over 400 species of birds. Take a boat ride around the lake and explore the lake's serene beauty. Hell's Gate Hell's Gate National Park is one of the natural beautiful parks in Kenya. The park is unique in its own way. It covers an area of 68.25 km square miles. It is known for its stunning landscape, towering cliffs, hot spring, and unique rock formation. The place is perfect for hiking, rock climbing, and mountain biking. It is surely a place you can't afford to miss visiting. That is all for today. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, share, comment, and turn on the notification so you can always be updated whenever we post a video.